media report for October 9, 2013. The St. John Police Force responded to 110 dispatch calls for service over the last 24-hour period. Yesterday morning, several break and enters were reported to the St. John Police Force. Areas that were targeted were file number 2013-8781. At 7.17 a.m. yesterday morning, the St. John Police Force responded to a call concerning a break, enter, and theft on Durham Street in St. John. Culprits entered the residence sometime during the night while the occupants were sleeping. Taken was a purse with wa a wallet containing several pieces of ID and an undisclosed amount of cash. File number 2013-8792. At 7.39 a.m., the St. John Police Patrol Services responded to a break enter on the Black River Road. It was discovered that a backyard shed was breached. It appears as though nothing has been taken in this break and enter. File number 2013-8785. At 8.15 a.m., we responded to a business located on Union Street in Uptown St. John. Here, a break, enter, and theft was discovered. The break and enter is believed to have occurred between Sunday at 4.20 p.m. and Tuesday, October 8th at 8 a.m. Taken in this break and enter is a cash box with an undisclosed amount of Canadian currency and an Apple MacBook Pro laptop computer. File number 2013-8800. At 11.09 a.m., patrol members received a call to Howard Court in St. John regarding a residence that was broke into. This break, enter, and theft occurred sometime between October 6 and October 8, 2013. Taken in this break and enter was an Xbox 360, a PlayStation 3, and several assorted games and movies. The St. John Police Force is asking anyone with information concerning any of these break and enters to call the St. John Police at 648-3333 or Crime Stoppers at 1-800-222-8477. The St. John Police Force also responded to a number of car prowls and thefts from vehicles in the areas of Sydney Street, Pitt Street, and Union Street. Taken in these thefts were a laptop tough book computer from a company van and sunglasses. Again, it's a friendly reminder to lock your vehicle and move any valuables, making it less vulnerable to the thieves. Last night, patrol members have been doing roadside checks, stopping vehicles, and issuing violations. The St. John Police Force Traffic Division wants to remind motorists to make sure their vehicles are roadworthy and compliant under the New Brunswick Motor Vehicle Act. This ends the media report for October 9th, 2013. Have a great day.